Hey, welcome back everyone. Congratulations on finishing the first two learning paths for Azure Fundamentals exam series. Now we are officially entering the third learning path, which is exam in Microsoft Azure Security, Privacy, Compliance and Trust. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this Azure Fundamentals examination course. In this module, we're going to talk about how to secure network connectivity within Azure. Within this module, we're going to talk about the security responsibility, which is shared between you and the cloud service provider, which is Microsoft. And we will learn about how to identify management providers protection, even outside of your network and learn about the encryption capabilities built into Azure that can protect your data as well. Let's explore defense in depth. Defense in depth is a strategy that employs a series of mechanisms to slow the advance of an attack aimed at acquiring unauthorized access to data. The objective of defense in depth is to protect and prevent information from being stolen by individuals not authorized to access it. The common principles used to define a security posture are confidentiality, integrity and availability known collectively as CIA. This difference in depth can be visualized as a set of layers with the data to be secured at the center. Each layer provides protection so that if one layer is breached, a subsequent layer is already in place to prevent further exposure. This approach removes reliance on any single layer of protection and acts to slow down an attack and provide alert telemetry that can be acted upon, either automatically or manually. Let's talk about physical security. Physical security is the first line of defense to protect computing hardware in the data center. Identity and access controls access to infrastructure and change control. Perimeter layer uses DDoS protection to filter large-scale attacks before they can cause any denial of service for end users. Networking layer limits communication between resources through segmentation and access controls. Compute layer secures access to virtual machines. Application layer ensures that applications are secure and free of vulnerabilities. And finally, in almost all cases, Attackers are after the data, which is stored in a database or stored on a disk inside the virtual machine or stored in a SaaS application such as Office 365 or stored in a cloud storage. It's the responsibility of those storing and controlling access to the data to ensure that it's properly secure. Often, there are regulatory requirements that dictates the commands and process that must be in place to ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the data. Organizations face many challenges with securing their data centers, including recruiting and keeping security experts, using many security tools, and keeping pace with the volume and complexity of threats. As cloud computing moves from customer-controlled data center to the cloud, the responsibility of security also shifts. Security of the operational environment is now a concern shared by both cloud providers and customers. By shifting these responsibility to a cloud service like Azure, organization can reduce focus on activities that are in core business competencies. Depending on the specific technology choices, some security protections will be built into the particular service, while addressing others will remain in the customer's responsibility. To ensure that proper security controls are provided, a careful evaluation of these services and technology choices becomes necessary. So as you can see in the diagram, SaaS require less involvement from a customer point of view, wherein on-prem require more involvement from a customer point of view. And there are some shared responsibility models shared between the customer and Microsoft in terms of PaaS and SaaS as well. Let's explore Azure Firewall. 
A firewall is a service that grants server access based on the originating IP address of each request. You create firewall rules that specify ranges of IP addresses. Only clients from these generated IP addresses will be allowed to access the server. Firewall rules also include specific network protocol and port information as well. Azure Firewall is a managed cloud-based network security service that protects your Azure Virtual Network resources. It is a fully stateful firewall as a service with built-in high availability and unrestricted cloud scalability. You can create, enforce, and log applications and network connectivity policies across subscriptions. Azure Firewall uses a static public IP address for your virtual network resources, which allows outside firewalls to identify traffic originating from your virtual network. The service is fully integrated with Azure Monitor for logging and analytics. Azure Firewall provides many features, including built-in high availability, unrestricted cloud scalability, inbound and outbound filtering rules, and Azure monitoring logging as well. With Azure Firewall, you can configure application rules that define FQDNs, network rules that define source address, protocol, destination port, and destination address as well. Azure Application Gateway also provides a firewall called Web Application Firewall or WAF. This Web Application Firewall provides centralized inbound protection for your web applications against common exploits and vulnerabilities. Let's explore Azure Distributed Denial of Service or DDoS protection. DDoS attacks attempt to overwhelm and exhaust an application resources, making the application slow or unresponsive to legitimate users. DDoS attacks can be targeted at any endpoint that is publicly reachable through the internet. Thus, any resource exposed to the internet, such as a website, is potentially at risk from DDoS attack. When you combine Azure DDoS protection with application design best practices, you help provide defense against DDoS attacks. This diagram shows network traffic flowing into Azure from both customer and an attacker. Azure DDoS protection identifies the attacker's attempt to overwhelm the network and blocks further traffic from reaching the Azure services. Legitimate traffic from customers still flows into Azure without any interruption of services. Azure DDoS protection provides different tiers, basic and standard. The basic service tier is automatically enabled as part of the Azure platform. Always on traffic monitoring and real-time mitigation of common network level attacks provide the same defenses that Microsoft online services use wherein the standard service tier provides additional mitigation capabilities that are tuned specifically to Microsoft Azure Virtual Network resources. DDoS protection standard is simple to enable and requires no application changes. Protection policies are tuned through dedicated traffic monitoring and machine learning algorithms. Policies are applied to public IP addresses which are associated with resources deployed in virtual network, such as Azure Load Balancer and Application Gateway. Let's understand Network Security Groups or NSGs. Network Security Groups allow you to filter network traffic to and from Azure resources in an Azure virtual network. An NSG can contain multiple inbound and outbound security rules that enable you to filter traffic to and from resources by source and destination IP address, port, and protocol. An NSG can contain multiple inbound and outbound security rules that enable you to filter traffic to and from resources by source and destination IP addresses, port, and protocol, wherein application security groups enable you to configure network security as a natural extension of an application structure, allowing you to group virtual machines 
and define network security policies based on those groups. This feature allows you to reuse your security policy at scale without manual maintenance or explicit IP addresses. The platform handles the security of explicit IP addresses and multiple rule sets, allowing you to focus on your business logic. So when considering Azure's security solution, consider all the elements of defense in depth. Perimeter layer. The network perimeter layer is about protecting organizations from network-based attack against your resources. Identifying these attacks, alerting, and eliminating their impact is important to keep your network secure. Networking layer. At this layer, the focus is on limiting network connectivity across all your resources to only allow what is required. Segment your resources and use network level controls to restrict communication to only what is needed. By restricting connectivity, you reduce the risk of lateral movement throughout your network. In this module, we learned about defense in depth and various Microsoft Azure network security solutions. In the next video, we're going to go through a walkthrough on how to secure network traffic. We're going to deploy a custom template to create a virtual machine, then create a network security group or NSG, and we're going to create an inbound security port to allow RDP and configure an outbound security port rule to deny internet access. So without wasting any more time, let's go and check that out.